Blackadder Goes Forth is the fourth and final series in the Blackadder saga, and perhaps the finest of all. Set in the Allied trenches of the First World War, Captain Blackadder, Batman Private Baldrick, and Lieutenant George helplessly wait for orders of the next big push into No Man's Land. The fourth series is a respectful and thought-provoking approach to very real history, yet packs in a lot of laughs that avoid being exploitive or distasteful. <laughs> it feels like a great accumulation of what made the previous two series so great, and by setting it in more recent history, it feels more relatable too. Throughout Goes Forth, we see a cynical Blackadder, desperately trying to escape the nonsense war and avoid certain death, be it by becoming an artist or by playing mad. What is your name, Wibble? <laughs> of course, his efforts spectacularly fail every time, but it is arguably the first time in the whole Blackadder saga that audiences can truly feel much sympathy to Rowan's character. Not only is it because most can relate to working under such incompetent leadership, doing precisely what we've done 18 times before is exactly the last thing they'll expect us to do this time, <laughs> but viewers can also foretell the devastating outcome that awaits in the whole unnecessary affair. In Blackadder's case, this leadership is in the form of the exceptionally deluded General Melchit and the smug pencil pusher Captain Darling. What do you want, darling? <laughs> It was wonderful to see both Stephen Fry and Tim McKinney rightfully return to the Blackadder saga full time for the first time since Series 2. Another return from Series 2 is Gabriel Glaister as Bob, who is quickly rumbled by Blackadder for not being a boy, something Edmund's ancestor couldn't do. Miranda Richardson and Rick Mail also welcomely return for short but memorable cameos as the sweet nurse Mary Fletcher Brown and the brash Lord Flashheart to top the impressive cast that would undeniably rival any British comedy, past or present. It goes without saying that Blackadder Goes Forth has countless great moments, so it's impossible to name them all. The Corporal Punishment episode, for example, features an eye-wateringly funny trial of Blackadder, for killing General Melchit's beloved pigeon, Speckled Jim. And then there's episode Major Star, where Melchit falls in love with George's alter ego, Georgina. But series four also has one of the greatest endings of perhaps any comedy, Good luck, everyone. With the sound of a whistle, we see Captain Blackadder, Lieutenant George, Captain Darling, and Private Baldrick climb out of the muddy trenches, charging through the fog and gunfire towards the enemy. Despite wrapping up a hilarious comedy, this gun wrenching scene is rightfully not played for laughs. Instead, it serves as a poignant reminder of the true horrors of the war and the millions of lives lost. The writers and actors get the tone just right, and it has rightfully become the most iconic scene of all of Blackadder. Blackadder Goes Forth is almost perfect. It cleverly avoids trivialising the heartbreak and loss from the Great War, while superbly representing the fallen heroes that came together from all classes of society to fight for their country. It's no wonder that decades later, some teachers show Series 4 in their history classes. Although the team were persuaded to follow it with a one-off special for the end of the millennium 11 years later, many fans will say that this final series is the definitive Blackadder series, and perfectly wraps up the whole rotten saga. Do you agree that Blackadder Goes Forth is your favourite series too? If you like this video, please consider giving a like, leaving a comment, and subscribing if you haven't already. And why not take a look at our other videos looking at other series of Blackadder? Thanks for watching and cheerio!